just four months away and this is a time when you should be ready with your revision and if you're not or if you are having doubts on how to progress with your studies now at this last moment then here we are with you i dr kanaka bhogli and i'm dr shivan and, and welcome, welcome back, back to dr do which makes you get a good rank in your entrance exam and the quality comes with the amount of times you have revised your syllabus revision has been always the key of success and talk to any topper be it a rank 1 rank 2 or any ranker they would always say that they had revised a minimum of 3 times and now that you are just left with 4 months how is it possible to revise 3 times this is what we'll be telling you now Along with that, there would be a lot of students who have not completed the syllabus for the first time. Not to worry, you are not that far from revision. But anyhow, now that you have to assess your revision, you have to assess your revision. 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 You have to assess PG and any competitive exam, it's about improving your weakness. It's not like you don't have to devote equal time to everything. You have to devote more time to the weaker subjects and weaker parts so that you equalize to the stronger subjects. जो already strong है उसको और time देके और strong ही बनाना है. Rather जो already weak subjects हैं, you have to give them more time and make them strong. So now. Once you have segregated them, now you have to make a schedule accordingly in which you are going to devote more time to the weaker subjects. Second thing, see during the last these days, uh, in the last few days, it's very monotonous to study just one subject in a day. And I mean, you can easily get tired and fatigued if you start with a subject and try to finish it in a single day, and just keep on studying the same thing. So, what's the best thing? Divide the whole day into two parts, in which you'll be studying two subjects in one day. The first half you will study any of the subjects. And the second half will be entirely of a different subject. And now the segregation of the time depends upon what kind of person you are. Maybe you are a morning person or a night person. If I tell about myself, I was a night person. So my segregation was actually I used to start studying one subject in the morning. I used to start by around ten o'clock. From ten to eight p.m. I used to study one subject. And after eight p.m. का जो भी मेरा break होता था of dinner, let's say till nine. So around by nine fifteen I used to again start studying till. Around two or three o'clock, I used to study. So I used to study a different subject. Now, obviously, in the morning hours, which are the most crucial hours, and when you are actually very fresh, you should make a point that you are studying your major subjects, major subjects like medicine, surgery, obs gynae, subjects like these, like patho. This is the subject where you actually have to put a lot of brain into. So study those. And in the night time, when you know that your your mind is not that active or you may feel lazy, that is the time when you can actually devote time to the minor subjects like derma, anesthesia, psychiatry. So these subjects do not first of all require a lot of your mind, your mental presence. Second, it actually if you are revising that subject, it would just take few hours for revision, like. I think when you just make your own revision schedule, which we'll be making it for you, we'll actually design a proper revision schedule in the next video. So whenever you make a revision schedule, make sure that minor subjects should just take one day. So for one day, if you give like one night and the next night, then two nights, may you you're done with your minor subject. One thing, those who haven't completed their first revision till now, see, now it's not that you have to. I mean, compulsorily finish everything right. because you have to go for three revisions. It's, I mean, it's compulsory to do three, three revisions because suppose you devote a lot of time to the first revision itself and you are not able to complete the third revision, I am sure you are going to forget everything because in such a vast ocean, it's very easy to get lost, right? So now you have to expedite your studies anyhow, and you have to target finishing everything by the end of this month itself. So that you have November, December, and then January and February. Like you will require at least two months for your second revision, and then one one month each. So I mean, 
you have to devote a lot of time or either you can even cut off something it's not compulsory that you have to finish 100% of your syllabus some things can be done later on by mcqs grants many things but you have to start your revision by the starting week of the next month itself guys revision is so important but along with revision you have to be very sure with your ability to give grant test so grant test ka apna schedule banao that you have to give grant test monthly or twice monthly as of now later on obviously increase the frequency of it if i talk about myself as i've told this many times i was a student of dbmci and i used to they had this thing of uh, every last sunday during my time like 2 years back every last sunday in their coaching institute they used to conduct a grand test so every last sunday of the month i used to give the grand test later on they definitely increased the frequency during these last few months so i also increased my frequency i was actually like blindfolded foldedly doing everything what they were making us to do and that was really beneficial and one more thing we have that fear factor ki abhi ek revision aur ho jaye then i'll start giving grand test guys just new exam ke ek pehle tak you won't get that confident ki yaar now i know everything now i should give grand test now that you all have already finished your first revision now it's the best time to start giving the grand test very very seriously because ek bar to apne padhi liya na mbbs mein also you have completed the syllabus then ab nahi doge tak ab doge because let me tell you one thing grand test will actually help you in planning the revision sessions itself because once you are giving the grand test you will come to know what subjects you are weak in what topics for uh, what topics you are weak in what you are actually forgetting and what is the most important thing that is asked repeatedly in the exams ye sab janne ke liye you have to give those grand test So right. don't be actually be scared. Like these grantors are not for judging you, but they are actually so that you get acclimatized for the examination and you know the important things. So during my own last months, if I tell you about myself, our exam was in January. So our last four months were around like September. So that time, the most important and most crucial time was to cover up the images. If you all know the latest pattern of NEET PG, it is. images like image is the crux of the paper if you don't know images you will definitely land up in a very big hole so you have to go through images and along with that when you do images you also get to know the high yielding points and here also i did my images with the help of white session from dbmci and i would definitely recommend you the same because that was the most beneficial thing happened to me in the whole journey of my preparation so exactly almost 4 to 5 images came from that booklet and also all the points which were covered in that 3 uh, day session which i had it was like just the same for my entrance exam and believe me on the last one month duration i was actually just studying that booklet so if you want to join it you can very well join it even they are going through the pre live sale also which is till 31st of october so you'll get a great benefit great discount and in that vibe session these people will be providing you first all the videos of your images and they will be providing you vibe booklet they will be providing you the notes then along with that everything would be done in so much of brief manner and it would be all high yielding along with that you will also be involved in the test series and image based test series everything would be done so this is a total overall package which i think every every single student should go through because this would be very beneficial along with that a very important point which i would like to add is that since i was telling you that you have to give test so when you give test during these last months you actually understand that how much syllabus and how much subject is on your tips and for that you give your test after completing your uh, subject maybe revision or any subject what you have done along with that what if you get a discussion part of it as well so that you get to know what is wrong and what is not not so this is again you should join i was also a student of tnd these are like completely honest things which i did for my revision first i was a student of tnd batch second i also was a student of a vibe session so these things i did and you can also go through tnd which is test and discussion so it is just a course of 3.5 months and you have so much of time already so this syllabus will be done by january this is like life to life classes inki life ka bhi ek session hota hai so it recorded bhi mil jayega live bhi mil jayega sab kuch hoga and you give the test the discussion will be done you will understand kya galat kar rahe ho kya sahi kar rahe ho so these are two things all the links i mentioned in the description box below you will get extra discount on using our coupon code which is doc2 15 so don't forget to use that another thing i wanted to discuss was 
and one thing that i actually followed was the method of revision well see there are two methods of revision one is the traditional method with most of the people follow that is they start opening the notes again they start revising from note page 1 to page 5 or whatever that last page is and then they do the mcq right but what i believe is you should do the mcqs first see you have already completed your first revision you have a gist of the topic as well as the subject i am not saying that you will remember everything but you have a gist of that right and this is the time you should actually solve the mcqs first from whatever source you are uh, using so suppose you want to study a topic say pancreatitis in surgery solve all the mcqs of that topic all right once you have actually solved the mcqs you will come to know ki mujhe kitna yaad hai usme kitna yaad nahi hai second thing what are the important questions that were asked repeatedly so you will come to know i mean a whole map of that chapter itself while solving the mcqs now once you start revising the notes you will pay special attention to those facts which you were forgetting you will give less time to the things which you already remembered and you will give more time to the things which are repeatedly asked and were very important so by this way you can actually ramp up your revision strategy definitely so these are like actual points which you should do for revision and guys this is not it we'll be coming up with a very detailed whole schedule we'll make it for you like time table proper 8 am se 8 pm ye karo 2 pm ye karo we'll be coming up with this on our next video day so stay tuned for that and we really hope that these tidbits and these important points really help up help you with your preparation for neat pg 2023 you people would definitely come out with flying colors if you follow these tips and we are waiting for your messages after the result so stay tuned guys for our next video till then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and let's make this channel the biggest medico community ever because why should not medico have all fun bye, bye everyone guys.